Hi everyone, I'm back. I've had a baby. And if you're wondering from the title of this video, wouldn't it be ideal to do this while I was pregnant? You are right. I did plan to do this while I was pregnant, but my son decided to come early, so I decided to put this video in the back burner. But the silver lining to putting this in the back burner is that now I can give you insight into how these clothes are working for me postpartum. That's something that I didn't think of at the time when I was shopping for these clothes, that these clothes are supposed to see me through my postpartum journey as well. Because the reality is your body is not going to snap back and it's going to take a gradual process to get there. Either it be your old body or your new body. You might also be wondering why I would shop for maternity friendly brands instead of the traditional maternity wear. I had a gander through most of the maternity brands out there and to be honest most of them were very very practical clothing with sensible colorways. None of them actually had any pattern or color or none of them actually gave me joy. And then I thought to myself, why am I compromising things that I'm not going to be packing away in a box, putting it in storage to use when I'm pregnant again. That being said, I only curated a small list of clothes that I loved wearing during my pregnancy. first brand on my list is Simon Miller. They're known for this certain rib knit fabric. They tend to bring this fabric in a whole heap of colorways and different styles. It's a very heavy knit and drapes beautifully on the body. I love the sky blue and the dramatic flare sleeves, usually styling it with this kimono jacket and cowboy boots. For a lighter layering option, I like to wear it with a shirt underneath. MVM, a brand I stumbled on the iconic website. This is a great basic dress to wear on its own or layer all seasons around. For instance, I love chucking on this Ganny shirt dress and heels for a more dressier look or chucking on a blazer and boots for work. MVN have a whole heap of great basics for your wardrobe and I notice they tend to keep bringing their basic styles such as this dress every season in different colors. This winter, they had this dress in a burnt ochre, another grey colour. This style isn't very postpartum friendly, so haven't had much wear since the baby. This black knit dress, however, from the same brand, has been one of my most worn pieces postpartum. It has buttons on the front for great boob access, and the cut of the dress is very flattering for bigger breasts. The dress was very easy to be styled casually to work as well as dressing it up for a dinner out. Norma Kamali, famous for that one shoulder rouge dress. Clothing from this brand revolve around jersey materials, making them very maternity friendly. The rouge one shoulder dress, however, is a workout to get into. Instead, this jumpsuit became a very comfortable maternity option. Great thing about this brand is that they tend to bring out their key pieces in different colorways each season. I commend on a brand that isn't based around this limited edition culture and consumers are able to make a more thought out purchase when shopping. Gani, a very pregnant friendly brand just because they love their androgynous, loose fitting styles and dresses. I had this in my wardrobe and didn't realize what a perfect dress this was for pregnancy. The ruching in the middle provided a perfect pocket to fit my belly. I wore this to my friend's wedding and I remember feeling incredibly good about my body and my six month pregnant belly. Daily Sleeper, 
This cult favorite brand is a no-brainer when it comes to maternity-friendly clothing. The whole ethos behind the brand is chic loungewear. The Atlanta dress in satin became a little black dress during my pregnancy. It is ridiculous how comfortable this dress is. The satin finish is great for a bougie date night. And since this dress has a stretchy bodice, it's also breastfeeding friendly to wear postpartum. The pyjama that started it all. Having had to stay at home because of lockdowns, you need a luxe pyjama to lounge in. And this is a very comfy set to take you from sofa to a night out in a matter of seconds. And a great item to wear after a much needed therapeutic shower when you're recuperating at home nursing a newborn. Sleeper is a very size inclusive brand and have many items in their collection that are size free like this dress for instance. This loungewear dress is again a most worn piece of clothing during my pregnancy and postpartum. In fact I packed this in my hospital bag to wear as a going home with the baby outfit. During my pregnancy my petite frame put on weight in my arms and hips and legs so showing off some bare shoulders made me feel somewhat sexy without having to cover up everything like a sack of potatoes. Speaking of sack of potatoes, Kinney is a small Australian label on using luxurious natural fabrics geared towards effortless casual style. I love this dress, it ticked all my boxes for my pregnancy style which was off the shoulder and loosey goose on the bottom. Linen is such a comfortable fabric for those hot Australian summers. I styled it here with castanea wedges which were also a very pregnant friendly shoe because they are made out of fabric and they keep your swollen feet at bay. This is me wearing the dress while pregnant, loved pairing it with my white Birkin socks and white Oraton bag. A few honourable mentions from a few Australian brands. First is Seed Heritage. They had many pregnant friendly summer dresses while I was looking around. The gingham dress had been lovingly worn both throughout my pregnancy and postpartum. Good old country road. Focus on great fabrics and styles that stand the test of time. Yellow is my favorite color and this cotton silk yellow dress not only looks like butter but it feels like butter against my skin. This is a dress they keep on bringing most summers in different colorways and it's flattering on whatever size you are, pregnant or not. Last but not least, Gorman known for their outlandish and very notable prints. They have very loose, easy dresses that are pregnant friendly and since they are a brand that focuses on quality of material, you are bound to have their items far beyond your pregnancy. This cotton dress, believe it or not, gave me so many compliments from many nurses, midwives and doctors. Even my mom is a huge fan of this dress, probably because it looks like a very classic maternity dress that celebrates the bump with much modesty. Unfortunately, this dress isn't breastfeeding friendly to get much wear out of postpartum, but I'm excited to wear it again next summer. <music> Lastly, another Gorman number. This watercolor linen slip dress that once gave me a heart attack. I wore it to have lunch with my friend Weish and after our meal we were walking towards the art gallery and she said to me, I think you got your period on your dress. 
I hadn't told her I was pregnant and immediately felt my heart pound a million minutes with flashbacks to a miscarriage I had endured early in the year. However, the panic was soon subsided only to realize there is an unfortunate pink blotch on the back of the dress. She kept helping me with my bags the whole time in the gallery as her female intuition kicked in. I ended up announcing my pregnancy to her that afternoon. Nevertheless, I love wearing this dress. The pattern sparks so much joy and surprisingly been breastfeeding friendly. Well, that's my curated list of maternity friendly brands. I hope you enjoyed watching this. If you want to see more of them, do let me know and I'll keep making them. Well, that was my curated list of maternity friendly brands. Excuse me. I'm trying to do something here.